guys, Peter here, and welcome to an Ultra Agent review. This time, it's Inferno Interception. Set number 70162, ages 8, and 8 to 14, and 331 pieces, 313. Now, Ultra Agents, um, let's give you the front of the box there. Cool box art like all these sets. The top shows you the figures, but it doesn't show the names. That's interesting. Alright, and the back shows you all the features. Alright. And the free app, of course. Um, I got that and it's pretty cool. You um, play games and read comics. Well, they don't. You don't read them. They like read it to you. But let's open this thing up and see how many bags and stuff you get inside. Got my scissors. if there's number bags or non numbered bag oh this is nice. first before I take anything out they really did a good job with the packing it's like all the way up to the top so let's take out bag number yeah bag number one up to your left and a instruction booklet no numbers for the instruction booklet the tiniest sticker sheet ever. I like that there's not many stickers. And bag number two. And empty box. And empty box number two. Okay. I guess the box did not want to be here anymore. So, bag number one. And bag number two, tiniest sticker sheet ever, and instruction booklet. So, I'm going to go build this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, it's all about here, but um, that was a fun build, so let's go take a peek at the figures right now. Nice, let's get into these figures. So first, we have Agent Solomon Blaze here, and He is an agent. Let's give you a 360 of him. There he is. Now he has the cool blaster in his hand here. Um, now this is the new stud shooter and to fire the new stud shooter you just press down on this little gray thing and it shoots out really fast now he does um, he does come with an extra and you can put it on there and then shoot it again now to reload it now you just take it in put it upside down there and then you can have it back in his hand but in the extra pieces, he does get an extra one of these little stud things. So, now let's get into the figure itself. Cool printing on him. There on his leg. That one leg is printed, not the other. So that's, and then that's not that good. But, um... 
it's one leg does count up for the other. So, back printing does have some there on him. Just a little bit though. But he does have some. And then he has that gold tie and the and the agent's pin. Now he does have this um gray hair piece here. And he has yeah. Turn around there. He does have the double sided face. Kind of a meaner look there. And then kind of a um a smile on him there. So that's him. Now let's get into Inferno. Inferno's probably one of my favorite villains, like the favorite villain that I have. And are you ready for this? Here is Inferno. Now, I give you a 360 of him, definitely. He is definitely really cool. Now he has the two dynamite. Whoa. The two dynamite pieces here, very cool. In his hands, very cool. Now he has his surfboard. Rocket powered, of course. You, everybody needs a rocket powered surfboard, right? There. And he has the cool. Let's get into that. Oh my, it's falling apart here. Falling apart. Come on, head, come off. Ow! Ow! No, not your legs. Come on. Get up. Get off. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Let me put it back together now. <laughs> okay. Um. So, here's his chest armor here. Very, very cool. And the clips on the back. Now, this. Well, this is your mission. You want to get this. That's the mission of the set. So, that's him. Now let's get into him without any of the armor on. Now, very cool. On the front there. On the back also. It looks like his chest is like a furnace. If you see that little furnace piece on the back, then inside it's kind of like uh, fire inside there. I think his chest is a furnace and then he has that thing on his head for the flame really cool on him he's firing you I get it firing <laughs> okay so that was your look at the two figures now let's get into the set okay so let's get into this set here um i'll show you all the features but first i'll give you a 360 view of it
Okay, that's a pretty cool car. So, um, well, a feature is that the cockpit opens up here, and you can fit um, fit him inside. All right, and you can fit uh, lean him back there, and you can fit him in with his gun if you turn it to the side like that a little bit. So it fits all in there. And then another feature with the cockpit is if you see this red button in the back, and then I push this in really fast, and it has an ejection seat. Uh, I will not. I'm going to edit that part. So that fell on the floor, um, but it ejects out, and then it has this little um, hover pad here that he uh, is sitting on. So we'll put that back in there. Now, another cool feature is you can either press on this or pick it up like that. I like to pick it up like this because then the spoiler doesn't bend backwards. But you just pick it up here, and if you press down on these pieces here, if you press down like this, press it down, it goes flying. So, like that. So, that's pretty cool. I'll just give you one more time how that works. Now, it's a spring-loaded shooter, so you don't have to do anything other than press down. And you get an extra, so if you lose one like that, you can um, take the extra. It's downstairs right now. But you can take the extra and load it back in there. The last cool feature is you can turn the front wheels and the back wheels in like that, and the vehicle can fly. Now, to fly, you kind of hold it by these pieces here and the underneath there. So kind of like this, fly it around. Then when you want to stop flying, just lift these pieces up and these pieces turn and put it back down. And that's pretty cool. Um, and it drives very well on the this carpet here. But um, these pieces here, are the same height as the wheels so that's my only um, bad thing about this set is when you drive it on a hard surface it kind of um, see how um, these they kind of don't like let the wheels touch the ground as much as the um, these pieces so when you're driving it on the, the wood or the any other hard surface like a hard table these will mess up your um, driving because they they scrape against the ground and don't let these have enough uh, traction on the ground so that's my only bad thing about that so um that's pretty all pretty much all I, I love the um, the wheels here. They're very nice and uh, clear. So are these. I like those pieces. Um, they can spin like that. Okay, so um, has the little laser blasters there. I hope you like this review, and.